Ma'am, nice to see you. Nice to see uh, you, Leland. I'll in the spirit of uh, Christianity and confession, I will tell you, I didn't get a chance to read the book. I got engaged over the weekend, so was um, a little preoccupied. Thank you. That's Thank great. Thank you very much. So I was a little preoccupied. What's going to surprise people the most when they, uh, when they read it? You know, honestly, this is a very upbeat, uh, positive, encouraging book. Uh, and most of the books that we see these days are kind of tearing everybody apart and trashing other people. And I just really wanted to do a book that would uh, encourage the reader to be willing to step up when they feel called to serve. There are so many ways that I've been able to serve over the years, and uh, it's been such a privilege. But if I had said no, I don't want to serve, I don't want to step up, there would have been so many things that I would have missed out on. So we tell a lot of uh, kind of behind the scenes stories uh, about things going on and and things that were going on in our family and maybe at the White House and the governor's residence, but just giving people a good idea of, mm. um, you know, what it was like to serve. So um, I hope people enjoy it. I hope it encourages the reader. Well, I will say uh, I appreciate as you as a former uh, teacher accepting my excuse for not doing my homework. This came up during our town hall. Um, I don't know if it came up in Iowa, but it certainly came up in the town hall. And in the, the topic of your marriage and your faith has been uh, the subject of a lot of interest. It's been the subject of a lot of, a lot of criticism. Um, and I'm wondering how you tackle that in the book and why you think that has been such an issue. Um, well, you know, one of the things I, I've tried to do in, in the book is to uh, talk a lot about um, my faith and how we've made decisions along the way. And so there are a lot of little stories that we kind of share how we've made decisions relying on our faith. And one of the things I encourage the reader to do is to not be afraid if you feel that calling to go ahead and step out. Um, I don't know why our faith in particular or our marriage would be under so much scrutiny, um, but uh, but it has been, and but that's okay. I mean, that that's what politics is. When you're in the public life, you just have to be yeah. willing to accept that. But one of the things I try and encourage the reader to do is is to try and figure out maybe how they feel like God is calling them. For us, Leland, when we've had to make those decisions, like whether or not to run for Congress a third time, whether or not to uh, run for president this time, when we've made those decisions, we've we've looked to the Bible, we've asked friends to pray with us and for us. But once you make that decision, you just have a sense of peace uh, that kind of, you know, comes over you. I mean, maybe you feel that after having just gotten engaged, that <laughs> now you're engaged. I hope that's what you're feeling. Um, uh, joy, you know, now joy, you have happiness. that peace. <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> Um, we could all be optimistic, right? Um, well, I would have a peace, happiness, excitement, maybe, may, maybe more there. A little nerves. Um, I'm not sure peace would be the right word. But I, I appreciate the optimism, ma'am. It is good to see you. Thank you. Um, it's great to see you. We'll see you on the trail again. Great. Thanks, Leland. Thanks for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on the book. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.